okay so <coughs> in the last video we have seen uh, loops and how to control them with break continue and if else statements so in this video we will going to see a very needed concept or necessary concept for python not python actually every programming language that is um, functions okay so let's just start with that uh, so first of all one second okay so first of all what i'm going to uh, do is create a new for file which will be called 0 5 python mastery dot pi okay now in here and the first thing i'm going to show you and you can see i have opened up a terminal in, uh, in the same directory see python mastery in the same directory so i can run the code here uh, that will be very easy to see what is happening here oh, so first of all let me close that let me zoom in a bit okay so the first step is we are going to see uh, is function function functions okay now in here let's say what is the function so see uh, if they tell you to do a math uh, like mm, make a addition of two numbers let's say you are making addition of two numbers um, a equals to 6 and b equals to 7 and uh, addition of two numbers is z equals to a plus a plus b okay so you will get a total of 13 right so if i print this out a total of 13 so you will get python 0 5 see i am getting a 13 right <coughs> so let's say <coughs> you are told you can uh, do a positive of this number so you can just copy the print like this and you can just put it like this 8 plus 9 10 plus 12 like this right so if I remove this and I print it once again so you will see 13 17 and 22 right so now uh, you will see you can do the addition very easily by copying these stuffs or you can also create a two list like one list will contain the a all the a's and uh, the second list will contain all the b's and you can add make addition or with all of them using the loop right you can do that but let's say you are given a a complex uh, kind of stuff let's say instead of doing a a plus b you are given to do a into let's say sorry a into b minus b plus mm, let's say a whatever the value will be we'll see so in here uh, the operator precedence will apply because also in here that uh, into first then negative then positive this kind of stuffs will apply also apply but we're not going to focus on that let's say they are given us this uh, uh, values this uh, equation and they are telling us to uh, implement all the stuffs right you can also again you can use the uh, loop kind of stuffs but let's say we are going to perform a function that we can every time we call and that function will perform this equation for us for every value of a and b now what is a function function is a block of code uh, you can use multiple times in your code uh, there is no limited number you can uh, you can use as many time as you want so uh, let me just show you uh, so just first delete all this and how to make a function first so you type the keyword def def means define 
define and the function's name let's say the function's name is eq for equation okay and you put a parenthesis open and parenthesis close so what this parenthesis defines is this is this will be this eq this name will be a function okay so after that you put a colon like this and in the next line uh, in the next line you have to use a tab to indent properly and then whatever you uh, write in here let's say I'm writing equation uh, printing some stuff okay now if I run this uh, see anything isn't running okay so this printing part is not showing its stuff right why is that because you see at the beginning we said that def def means defining okay so defining means you are defining a function right you are not calling it so there is a clean difference between defining a function and calling the function okay so you define the function that the interpreter knows that there is a function called eq now you are not calling that right so uh, in here uh, what i'm going to do is i have to call this function right so i'm going to call this function eq and put the parenthesis right this parenthesis stuff okay if i now make a call see it's printing that because i'm calling the function now so how you call the function like this okay now the first thing to do is let's say i'm going to do this equation inside this function right so uh, what i am going to do is i am going to um, take this z value and put it inside this equation function right i put it inside this equation function let's just nominate all of those and now see there is a problem with this see what is this a and b when i defined a equals to 7 and b equals to <coughs> 8 that's fine it can find this a and b and if i print this uh, z you will see it's printing a number sorry i'm not calling the function again you have to call the function to exactly get the values so see it's printing 55 however it coming with 55 that doesn't concern us but it is printing 55 now the problem is um, let's say uh, you don't have this a and b and you are you want to put that value dynamically when we are calling this function so what are you going to do is we are going to define an a and b in here inside this function so how you define that it is called a parameter okay argument argument and parameters okay so you pass a and b in here okay so the function will know that every time we call this function uh, we are going to give an a value and a b value in this function right so when we are calling this function we have to give 7 and 8 so again if i give 7 and 8 so it's printing 55 now if i copy this function three more time and i just i'm just going to change the values let's say 6 comma 5 and 3 comma 8 and 7 comma 2 so now if i print this function you will see all the all the things will do 55 for the first one sorry 55 and the rest rest are rest like uh, 31 for the second one 19 for the second one and also 19 for the fourth one okay so uh, let me just clear it out now see uh, if in any cases you forget to pass any variable inside this right so if i didn't pass anything see it's giving me a error what is this error eq missing two required position positional arguments okay so i am not passing any arguments so in this parameter i am not passing any arguments this is called parameter when we are defining and when we are passing a value this is called 
I guess this is called arguments. Yeah, I hope this is called arguments. Uh, it could be a uh, vice versa. I am not entirely sure about that, whatever they call. Uh, if this is called parameter, then it is argument when we are passing the values. But now the main point is if you forget to give any values inside this a and b then it is going to it is going to show us an error okay so now the stuff is let's say i don't want to get any error with this a and b and i want to say if i didn't pass anything the values it will take is 0 and 0 so the default value will be 0 and 0 so we can also define that in here a equals to 0 b equals to 0 so if i do this and again i once again i run this so what we will get is zero right now if i print anything in here one comma three then what we will get i get one because now it is taking one and three as an input but mm, when uh, we are giving nothing in here so it is taking uh, input as zero because we defaultly pass zero okay that is one thing uh, that is all the functions thing and in a newer version of python uh, there is also a thing called return values okay so what is a return value uh, i will explain this uh, so just hold on a second okay now i'm changing this value okay so there is also an another thing called return statement so what is a return statement let me just first print it out hold return plus b let's just perform a addition of two numbers add i'm adding two numbers right now i'm going to clear it out okay so i'm performing a addition right so adding two numbers now if i call this function uh, i am passing a value of 5 and uh, 4 right now if i run this uh, let's say i am running this uh, see i am getting nothing in here because i am not printing it what i am doing is returning the value so what is what it's going to do is we are expecting this function to return us a value it means whenever we run this function this function will return us a value okay whatever the value is it will return us a value let's say i am defining a z and now i am putting this function uh, hold on hold on i am putting this function inside this z 4 comma 5 right now if i print this z you will see i'm getting 9 see i'm getting 9 because this whenever we uh, use a return statement whatever we pass in this return value see i'm passing a plus b so it this function will return us this value a plus b so i'm putting 4 and 5 in here so this function is returning uh, 4 plus 5 9 inside the z so this is return statement return means whatever we putting inside the return the function will return that value okay it could be a string it could be a it could be a integer anything like that so now in the newer version of python there comes an another thing which is explicitly telling the uh, python interpreter that what this function is going to return us so if the function is not returning us that uh, data type then it will it is going to show us an error okay so uh, to tell you that we will put after this parenthesis see after in the defining statement after this parenthesis we put a minus sign and give a greater than symbol okay so this will uh, indicate this arrow sign will indicate what what this functions returning statement data type will be so if i print it here int see if i print it here int it not showing me any error but if i print it here str now if i run this statement 
see it's giving us 9 of course it's giving us 9 but now if I check the type let's say I'm checking the type see it's giving us end but we explicitly define this function to return as a str string so now the interpreter knows that it should return us str okay it's returning us an str so this add value see whenever we hovering on this add value this function is showing us that it should return a string now if i add this function it is returning us end so it's type conversioning the whole thing okay expecting a string and returning an end is what it it's doing okay so in the later stuff uh, what we have is uh, next stuff is we can also define a equals to 4 and b equals to 5 like this you can say explicitly this is this also we can put it like this whenever we are not sure what we are passing here so we can also explicitly say b equals to 4 and a equals to 5 now if i print this uh, print z now see it's returning us 9 again see that's for the function stuff and we are going to move on to uh, let's say we are moving into one second i will fix this up because we don't need a string we need integer here and in the next stuff we will see about um, modules okay what is modules so the first of is modules is like a library you see you put books inside libraries uh, like minded books like if you are putting a geographical book uh, you are going to put in this shelf all the geographical books so modules is what uh, contains all uh, like minded functions let's say you are putting a calculation functions all inside a file okay and that will be called a cal uh, calculation py dot py so what is module exactly so to tell you the stuff first we have to know what is a module so module is just like a file python file let's say i'm putting a cal dot py which means all the calculation file will be here so let's say i'm defining a function called add and it is going to take a and b and it will return to us a integer int and what it is going to do is return us a plus b okay so i'm going to copy this stuff okay so in here let's say it will return to us uh, a minus b which will mean a subtraction we put sub and we also put in here multiplication and return a data type of a cross b okay so after that we will define another a which is def division a comma b it will also take the same values int and return return us a uh, a division of b okay so now if i go to my file i can directly use this uh, all use all the uh, statements that are defined in this calc.py what i can do is i can just say import calci it's recommending me this file put calc okay so now if i do uh, add see my file doesn't contain anything called add right so if i say calc dot add i can put any stuff inside this a comma b so let's say i'm putting 5 comma 6 and i'm just printing it out print it out so if i print this out 
see it's returning me 11 because this addition is recognized by the python because we are importing cal so now this cal is uh, like a python module right so why this cal dot add so we have to tell the python interpreter where this add is coming from so that's why we in, uh, imported this cal right so we can also say like this from cal import add so if i put it like this we don't have to explicitly mention this cal. so we are telling that uh, interpreter that we are importing this add functionality from this cal file okay so it will also run like this and we can import all the stuffs from here but one thing i should mention is we can't use div okay see it's underlining this stuff because this interpreter doesn't know what is div so in that case we have to also type import cal in Im uh, from cal import dev now it knows what is dev or you can say uh, import cal and in that case you have to explicitly mention cal dot dev i am taking this dev function from this cal file so now if i remove this so let's just move on to the next part uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you another thing and we can also import uh, variables right so if i uh, put up bi bisector no no need bisector variable let's i'm um, taking a normal variable uh, which is called h and which value is 0.7 so now <coughs> uh, if we from cal import h see the h is imported and we can pass this h in here remember what is the h value is 7 so it's taking a int it should return a int if i print this value it's returning me 6.7 right it's floating because this h value is float value 0.7 so it's plusing all of them 6 plus 0 0.7 and it's returning 6.7 right so this is how you use a module see whenever inside your folder you use a module it will create a this pi dot cache okay cache memory <coughs> so the first thing uh, is this you can use a module like this you can use pre-built modules like import math from math you can use um, print let's say math dot sqrt sqrt and you can print 16 sqrt will do the square root of the number you provide in here so if i run this see it's providing 4.0 okay and you can also what what i've shown you is you can also import import uh, pi you can also import values or a variable directly so if i print pi it will return me the value of pi see it's returning me the value of pi okay so this is about module <coughs> but there is also a stuff uh, uh, way to define module so when you are working in a big project and you there is a, a bunch of modules in there so what you use is you use a folder okay module folder so this is just for showing you okay hold on a second i'm going to comment it out and delete this calc.py uh, let's say i'm deleting this pi file and now i'm creating here a folder uh, my module i'm naming this my module module my module okay and inside this my module folder i am going to create a file called in it dot pi so this file rem remember the name uh, underscore underscore in it underscore underscore dot pi this file is used in the previous version of python um, also you can use it right now uh, it's also support in the newer version but uh, you can easily directly define your uh, modules inside this so in this in it file i will show you what you will do uh, but first let's create a module uh, calc dot pi which will contain only one function let's say def add and a comma b 
and which will return to us a uh, integer value and return the value of a plus b okay so this is it now inside this init.py in the previous version of python what we will used to do is we defined a stuff called underscore underscore all and it is a list which will contain the python file names so only the file name okay don't put the extensions in here so you put cal okay because my python file name is cal and whatever you want to import from here you put all of them inside this cal now if i go to my file and try to import it so if i say uh, from my module see my module import cal i can import that cal and also can use that function as i can show you add and i can print 7 comma 8 see what i'm doing is i'm importing first importing this module i'm importing this cal uh, cal uh, module okay so from where i'm importing this cal module i'm importing this cal module from my module folder so my, from my module i am importing cal and this cal contains this add function so cal dot add okay so i can also put it like this so from my module dot cal because cal is defined inside this my module i am importing the add function so in that case you don't have to put this cal function see this is the basic stuff and i can show you why in this later version we don't use this init.py so even if i delete this function let's say i'm deleting this function i delete this function it will still work okay okay see it's still working so this is all about modules and python functions return statements okay so i will see you in the next video thank you for watching